Let's play hockey, but let's play hockey for everyone. It's Phantoms who win the opening face-off, but MK able to hustle it back. Rory Herman steaming in, looking for a shot through the legs. We know he loves to uh, score a flashy looking goal. That was a great hit on the far boards there by James Griffin, but an errant puck and the shot comes in. It's Dylan Lawrence looking to chase that puck down. The puck's loose and Dylan Lawrence breaks into the Peter Brabantum zone. Picks up the loose puck and a backhand goal from number 14, Dylan Lawrence. And just see here, just the, the first mistake by the Phantoms in defense and Dylan Lawrence there to make them pay. Ma was not ready. Dylan Lawrence dancing round on the backhand, lifts it up into the top of the net. That's great, uh, great defensive pinching there from, from James Griffin. Took a bit of shove behind the, uh, behind the net, but referee not looking to give a penalty right now. Oh, and that's a great pass in front of goal to, to Ferrara, but Jordan Headley with the block, with the uh, the pad save. I learned to read the full numbers, and that's a great pass up to Dylan Lawrence. Makes the pass to Tim Wallace, and a great save from Jordan Maher. You notice there how just noticed that nothing was doing in front, so put the brakes on, turned things around, made sure. Oh, and that's Archie Salisbury catching himself there. That'll be for tripping. Serenis will pass that back behind the goal line, and again dancing round and. This is where Peter Brafantons will be dangerous. One time shot and the puck's bobbling through and it's through the legs of the returning Jordan Headley and barely 15 seconds into the power play. And Peter Brafantons make, make the lightning pay. And just like that, it's 1-1 one, one, guys, 1-1. One, one. Ben Solder. Dancing around the back of the net, but Peterborough really making the uh, making the moves. And in front of net, James Griffin getting to it with the Phantoms, man. Line, linesman coming in between them now. And the penalties will be Griffin, two minutes for, for stashing Serensis, two for cross-checking. Oh, a great pass there. Ferrara's through, drops the puck off. And the puck just finding its way round the side of the net, but again, there is a delay on the penalty. It looks like Ross Venus called for hook in there. And again, for the second time in this period and in this game, lightning on the back foot, but Liam Stewart will pick up that Aaron Puck and he's got the burners on, looking to get the, uh, get the pass or the shot away, but Phantom's back checking. And that's got a lot of space there out on the point and carrying it round, but a great save from Jordan Headley. 10 seconds left on this power play. Lightning have played this pretty much perfectly. Although saying that, curse the commentator. And with three seconds left, Phantoms break into the Lightning zone. And for the second time tonight, Jordan Headley's been beat. See that dancing round, the two D-men firing it high. So much time, so much space, but it's the speed that caught Lightning off guard at the back. Quick shot, blocker, uh, blocker save from Jordan Headley. And again, Norton fires in for the Phantoms. Plenty of room at the back post. And Tom Norton pinching in. It took an awkward bounce and it fell right to the stick. Couldn't have taken it any better. That's the fourth goal of the season for Tom Norton and now it's 3-1. Looking to tip that on and look at the speed of Tom's ruck. He's breaking through right now. McEwen's at the back door but couldn't quite get enough on it. And Corey McEwen will pick that up again. Puck's loose in front of net for Max Stewart but Jordan Maher had that covered, but great pressure there. And look at this, looking to catch Phantoms on a bad line change. Drops the shot off and a great blocker save there. Phantoms, all they can do is dump that in. 
to the zone behind the net. Ross Green just holding that out. And it's come loose. Brown passes it out to Rory Herman. Looking for some space. Puck comes out in front of goal and for the second time tonight. Dylan Lawrence finds the back of the net. Turning this into a one goal game. You can see Herman breaking down into the zone. Drops it back to Dylan Lawrence. And again, the Lightning Man finding the back of the net one time. Great reactions. It's passed out in front of net. Christian. Oh, and it was so, so close. Not sure if that came off a, a, a post or a stick. Fina's pinching in. Rory Herman coming in as well. Lightning really relying on their top line tonight. And that's what the Phantoms has forced them to do. And with that play out of the zone, the end of the first period, folks. Milton Keynes, Lightning 2, Peterborough Phantoms 3. As we welcome back to the ICMK Lightning. Great face-off win, though, for the Phantoms. Starting off the second period strong. But there you go, Curse of the Commentator picks up. Callum Field drops that back. Wrist shot comes in. Great deflection save there. And the, took a bad rebound on a bag change. Ross Venus is coming in on goal. And it's a goal. Wait, it's in! It's in! Rory Herman picking up the loose puck. Everybody thought that Jordan Maher had that. Everybody that is, apart from Rory Herman. Eagle-eyed at the back door. Ross Venus doing such a good job to pick that up. And it just trickled through the legs of Jordan Maher. And now a three-all game. Liam Stewart looking to dance that round and the puck. Oh, just trying to drop that off through the legs. Of Robson keeping a close eye on Ross Venus as you have to. And a great one-time shot in front of net. Fanned on the shot, and that'll give Lightning a chance to break down. Corey McEwen picks it up, gets the shot in, but just high and wide. And I think that will be called for too many men. One, two, three, four, five, six. White shirts on the ice. Again, Lightning moving the puck into those danger zones, just behind the net or just on the, uh, just on the post. Big shot, and a one-time shot from Ross Venus, and it's picked up in front of net by Rory Herman. Lightning just moving the puck around well enough to find those shooting lanes. The pass from Rory Herman out to Ross Venus with the shot. Tick, tack, sort of toe. Rory Herman picks up a goal. With that many men behind the goal, pinching on the puck, there is a bit of space in front of net if the puck can find its way out. There's still some movement there, and it's picked up in front of net, and it's a goal for Max Stewart. The hustle behind the Peter from net, and the puck came loose. And Max Stewart there in the slot to capitalize. I think it was Callum Field potentially getting the shot in, and the puck just ricocheting around the boots, and Max Stewart fires it home. Forging his way forward into the phantom zone. He hasn't got many Lightning shirts for company, but it did a great job. And now it's a one-on-one -on -one for Lightning, uh, for Phantoms. It's a great stop. It's a great stop from Jordan Headley. And with the last roll of the dice now on this power play for Phantoms, there's room at the back. Oh, and it's just wide from Norton. Lightning spending more time on the, uh, on the penalty kill tonight than they'd want. Shot coming in, it was high. It's bobbling around the uh, the skates. But Jordan Henley will shut that door. Another great poke check, and that'll, that'll leave Lightning with a chance to break, but it was a, yeah, an intercepted pass there. Rory Herman will look to, to, uh, to power forward. Great drop pass, McEwen with a shot, and just wide of the goal. Face-off win from Lightning, big shot from Brown, and the puck's loose in front of net, but just couldn't land on a stick. 
Pass across the Ferrara. Shot came in and Headley saw that all the way. Gretton was trying to scream. Now and James Griffin dancing through. Drops the pass off to Ross Venus, who's looking to skate in. Backhand shot couldn't make its way through. And James Griffin's there in front of net. Cannonfield picks it up, but just couldn't quite get anything on it. But tell a lie, actually, because of the commentator. And the puck is loose. Rory Herman will pick that up. Looking to toe drag it round, but couldn't quite get the shot on. But he's still in possession. The puck comes in. And it's a great reaction save from Jordan Mar. The puck is still loose in front of net, though. There's all five Peterborough Phantom ca Phantoms collapsing in on the, uh, on the net. So great defensive work there from the Phantoms. And as, uh, as Bjorty Nordstrom goes and sits in the box, I believe. Liam Stewart with the pass. And with 15 seconds to go, can Lightning capitalize in this period on this power play? Not yet, though. We've got 13 seconds left to go, folks. Lightning will probably be looking to start the second period with the man advantage, but we've got nine, eight seconds left. Tim Wallace with the, uh, with the puck gets the shot and it's deflected into the netting with 2.3 seconds left. Maybe pulled something or some equipment is loose. And Ross Venus gets the pass across. The shot comes in! Will it count? The referees are, uh, are signaling for the goal. And it looks like we'll be going in to the period break. Milton Keynes Lightning 6. Peter Phantoms 3. We'll check the replay. Pass comes across and... Hits the back of the net. And it looks like the officials will be giving it. So in a turn of favours in the second period, Lightning able to pull that back from 3-2 to 6-3. Let's play hockey. It's a great win for Lightning straight away, but intercepted by the Phantoms and not a tripping call. There's, a, there's bodies on the ice. And I'm very, very glad I got him to make a, well, he offered to make a picture of a panda and a hockey goal. So there you go. And breaking away, McEwen in there. And the puck's bouncing loose and it's gone in the back of the net. And I think that was Tim Wallace getting the rebound. It wasn't pretty, but they don't have to be. Corey McEwen with the puck, the puck was in the air and Tim Wallace doing just about enough to make sure that one was carried in, puck was in the air. Great pass out of the zone and McEwen saw the hit coming and Hamill dancing away from that check. Things starting to uh, heat up a little bit right now. Referee's arms up, just checking to, uh, to make sure that is the case and yeah, Hamill will be sitting that out. Ross Green will pass that back around the net. Great pass up to Dylan Lawrence. And Dylan Lawrence will look to dance around the backhand shot. He's still in possession. And that right there, folks, that will be a, 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 a penalty for the Phantoms. Looking to dance through. He's got potentially some space there. Back to Ross Venus, who was denied by Jordan Maher. That's cool and calm collected there at the back post from James Griffin. Ruckus off oh, fires that up and Max Stewart looking to pick up on that. But that was great play there from Jordan Maher. And there's bodies flying everywhere. Lightning still keeping the pressure on. As Griffin now put under some pressure and makes the hit behind the net. Nice pass there from Ruckus. Up to Callum Field, trying to dance round. The puck's loose. Jordan Maher just poke checking that in front of the net. It's a danger zone. Oh, and there's a big hit there. And it's being called. Brown called for uh, for hitting there, but well, that's for elbows. I'm pretty, I thought that was shoulder on shoulder. I just thought the Phantoms player just had his head down. We'll maybe try and see on the replay, but I thought that was a little, a little bit unfortunate there. And that puck's bobbling and it's been brought out. James Griffin will chase that down. James Griffin still got it. Throws it in front of net. The puck's bobbling around. The puck's loose. And Ross Venus just couldn't quite find a home for it. Griffin will still get it though. 
Cam Hammer will drop that off. That's a great pass to Ross Venus. He's got Dylan Lawrence for company. Dylan Lawrence looking to dance in front of the net, but nothing doing. Jordan it's Farr again that was in front of net, but couldn't quite uh, couldn't quite find the uh, find the back of the net for the, uh, for the Phantoms. Tom's right kiss will carry this forward. Drops that off to Stewart and dancing through, and it was a nice move by Mac, but unfortunately not nice enough to find the back of the net. Despite the size, <laughs> unable to get the uh, get the shot. Great pass in front of net. Oh, and I think that might have been off the bar. Jordan Headley pulled out of position. Ferrara carries it forward though, as I said, Phantom's not going down without a fight. I thought Gretton might have been offside there, but not to be, and great reactions there from Jordan Headley. And that might just be the last chance the Lightning have to, uh, to get a goal tonight. Or we'll get another goal, should I say. Christie will pick that up, tell her I might have spoken too soon. That's a great pass. Cam Hamill drops that off in a one-time shot. Just couldn't make its way through. Christie with it. Fires that in on it. Oh, and it's to the back door, and it's a goal for Lightning! Lewis Christie firing that in to the back door, and I thought that Mar had got a glove on it. I suppose he did, but there at the back door, just jamming home, it was it was loose. Almost a great save. But Corey McEwen gets his name on the scoreboard as well tonight. And after a disappointing loss last night in Leeds, this is exactly what Lightning need to be doing. It was always going to be a tough game up there. Nice saucer pass there from, uh, from the Phantoms. They're still dancing in. And oh, with the... Buzzer just ringing out. Just as the Phantoms were looking to get number four on the board. Time runs out and this game ends. Milton Keynes Lightning eight, Peterborough Phantoms three.